Hello everyone, uh, it's Romaine Johnson and I just wanted to show you a video that shows a very important concept. When you have a child with a history of a tracheal esophageal fistula, if they present with feeding problems and noisy breathing, either one of those is highly suggestive of tracheal malacia and laryngotracheal cleft. So here's classic tracheal malacia associated with tracheosophageal fistula. There you can see the pouch and classic appearance. Again, if you see a child who has noisy breathing and a history of a tracheosophageal fistula, think tracheal malacia until proven otherwise. The other thing is if they have a lot of trouble eating, think about a laryngeal cleft. They have a cleft until proven otherwise. This is a type 1 cleft. Um, it's very close to the vocal cords. Uh, you can help a lot of these kids get better if you remember those two findings.